what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this is a video addressing jeepers creepers 4 or anything that i know about the jeepers creeper series because someone commented in my comment section that they would like me to do a video regarding the topic unfortunately i do not have much to tell you because there has been nothing regarding jeepers creepers 4 and this is exactly what i knew was going to happen once jeepers creepers 3 came out jeepers creepers 3 had so much negativity surrounding it that the minute it came out I knew that uh, the whole intent was to be get this out of our hands, let's drop it, release it, don't talk about it ever again, uh, let's not even reference it at all. We haven't heard anything regarding Jeepers Creepers 4 or Jeepers Creepers 3 for that matter in terms of its DVD sales. The information is out there. We haven't had any updates regarding what Victor Salva's next move is going to be. The videos that I've done in the past, these are just videos and information that I've gathered by simply just digging and digging and digging and digging and digging because there is a Facebook group that exists uh, called Jeepers Creepers fans and it has people in the group who worked on Jeepers Creepers 3 and they were just tossing information around in regards to what Victor Salva was going to do next and for everyone who was let down by Jeepers Creepers 3 if you remember correctly the original plan was to end the series with Jeepers Creepers 3. It was going to be titled Jeepers Creepers 3 Cathedral. That was going to end the series. It was going to uh, bring, it was going to reveal everything about the Creepers origins. It was going to be set 23 years later after the first two films. It was going to pick up where the second film ended in that barn with the with Ray Wise's character, Jack Taggart and Jack Taggart Jr. Uh, Trish Jenner was going to come back. Gina Phillips was going to reprise her. She was going to have a son named after Derry, her brother who died in the first movie. She was going to team up with the Taggarts. They were going to go after the Creeper. They were going to take it out and it was going to end the series on a hopeful high note. I've read that script and I've shared that script with several people who have watched my videos regarding Jeepers Creepers. Uh, the script for that movie, it is a thousand times better than what we actually got on screen with Jeepers Creepers 3. The movie does have, the script itself does have a few question marks about it in regards to how did the Creeper get his clothing back? How did he get his wings back? How did he get a lot of things back? Because his wings got cut off in the second film. So the, the so how did he get his wings back? But that's just little stuff. But Jeepers Creepers 4, the plan now is to apparently, what this is what Victor Salva or Jonathan Breck rather, who plays the Creeper, he said that Victor Salva has Cathedral still, but he's turned that into like a one, a one season TV show type of deal. So what it seems like would happen is that Jeepers Creepers 4 is still going to be taking place 23 years later after the first three movies now, since Jeepers Creepers 3 takes place in between the first two, Jeepers Creepers 4 would take place after the first three movies, 23 years later, picking up after Jeepers Creepers 2, but we're not going to have the same type of deal that we had with uh, the original script with Cathedral, because that's been turned into a TV series. So it appears that Cathedral could be used as a TV series, and then we get something entirely new for Jeepers Creepers 4, but in that same 23 day period set in 2023 uh my thoughts on that is that i don't i don't really know if that's ever going to happen because victor salva himself he seems to not want to be able to let this go or let i don't know if he's even tried to let someone else get the rights to it uh but he a friend of mine told me because my a friend of mine met him over the summer last year he said that he is working on Jeepers Creepers 4 and he has intentions of doing a TV show. But the thing is, you have intentions and you want to do these things, but who wants to work with you? If you're just out here with hopes and dreams and you know no one wants to work with you, but you want this series to thrive and you want something to actually be made, why not just let someone else do it? I don't, and I can understand he doesn't have to because this is his, this is his property. This is his his work he might not want this to be touched unless it's by him but with all of this negativity surrounding you and you know how big of a fandom that you have created with this monster a very cute a very unique monster that audiences were introduced to back in 2001 and for years have been wanting to know the mythos about it because it's one of the i believe jeepers creepers is honestly one of the most well mysterious entities that we've gotten in a horror movie within the past several decades 
Uh, his origins have sparked conversations on numerous threads. Countless videos exist trying to come up with ideas or explanations about what he is. Uh, Victor Salva has created something that I feel can actually thrive if it's put in the hands of someone who actually knows what to do with it. Victor Salva himself I feel like he should be kept on as the writer, but his past is what's holding this series back. No one wants to work with him. Uh, he wants to do all of the funding himself, and that's that's fine and dandy, but it seems that all the funding that went towards Jeepers Creepers 2 and Jeepers Creepers 1 that he got back, I don't think none of that was used for Jeepers Creepers 3, so it doesn't seem that he has any funding because Jeepers Creepers 3 didn't make that much money. I think it made around six to seven million dollars including dvd sales uh victor salva i think should really find someone who would like to get this property and try to make something fresh with it uh get this tv series up and running do something because just sitting here and giving fans stuff to think about but then nothing ever happening i think that's just not that's just not going to get us anywhere because it's nice to sit down and talk about it but we've been talk we spent years talking about jeepers creepers 3 and then when it finally came a lot of people were let down uh well most people who most people who actually cared about what they were getting were let down uh jeepers creepers 3 for all intents and purposes was a letdown it was a horribly made film uh the production value was not that great the the lack of the lack of interest most of the actors and actresses seem to have on screen was just blatantly obvious uh, it just didn't it had like all this negativity around it and then when i looked at the movie myself it felt like no one actually wanted to be here they were just looking to make a quick check and get out of here uh, i would like to see a fourth jeepers creepers movie that dwells into the origins of the creeper in a more logical way because if they make a jeepers creepers 4 Jeepers Creepers 3 was such a mess in regards to continuity and plot holes and storytelling and backtracking on stuff that was already established. I would hope that they just negate Jeepers Creepers 3 and act like it didn't exist. Jeepers Creepers 4 could bring back Ray Wise. He could, re he could reprise his role as Jack Taggart. Uh, we could get Gina Phillips back. She could play Trish. We can get everyone back and just end the series on a high note. Those are my thoughts on Jeepers Creepers and the entire series uh, and the potentiality of getting a fourth film. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to all my social media accounts. You can message me there to let me know what movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.